Hello everyone, this is Citrine and this is your weekly Zodiac Messages and Astrological Report for the week of August 11th through August 17th. So as usual, I will start off talking about the astrology for this week while I pull your weekly cards. Alright, so let's start off on the 11th. So on the 11th, August 11th, we have a lot of things going on on this particular date. And remember, don't get too caught up on the dates. Because as I always mention, you can feel the energy of the planetary movements before the actual date and even after the actual date. Okay, so on August 11th, we have Jupiter going direct. If you did not know, Jupiter has been retrograde, okay? So, around this time, you will find that truths will come out, okay? Things that you have wondered about, you will finally get the... Um, you will finally know why you have been wondering about certain things. If you have been wondering about anything, it'll finally be crystal clear to you around this time, okay? And also, it is a time, once Jupiter goes direct, anything that you've been planning and thinking about moving forward on, this is the perfect time to move forward on those things, okay? Now, also on the 11th, Uranus is going retrograde. Remember, Uranus is the planet that deals with surprise. A lot of times those surprises are things that can be upsetting. However, since Uranus is going retrograde, the change, you can expect change and excitement with less drama. Okay? Now, Mercury enters Leo as well on August 11th. Okay? Just to add to Leo season. Now, on August 14th, which is my birthday, the sun is going to be conjunct Venus at 2.07 a.m. This is a time where new love is possible, everyone. New love is going to be possible. Uh, it's a great time to get out and socialize. And one great thing is that this aspect makes people feel more attractive, okay? So, people will be feeling more attractive around this time. And it's a favorable time for financial transactions as well. Now, the full moon is going to be on August 15th. The full moon is going to be in Aquarius. And on August 16th, we have Mercury in a square to Uranus, okay? This is an aspect where you may get bored more easily and you will want a lot of mental stimulation at this time, okay? Also, just brace yourself because under this aspect, your plans can tend... Ooh, two came out for Capricorn. Two cards came out. Um, so under this aspect of Mercury in a square to Uranus, your plans can get, it can get interrupted. But remember, Uranus is retrograde at this time. So even though your, your plans might get disrupted, it could lead to a great surprise for you. Okay. Now, so that's everything I wanted to talk about as far as the planetary movements this week let's get into the zodiac messages so as always we start off with aries okay aries i don't know if you can see this let me just back it up a little bit all right so aries now this week i am using my goddess oracle cards okay so each one of these cards represents a goddess and we start off with aries aries you have the goddess Seridwin. Okay. So this week, Aries, and remember, these are general readings for all zodiac signs. So if something resonates with you, that's great. But if something does not resonate with you, don't think about it too much. So this week, Aries, everything you need is coming together. 
okay so this week all you need to do is choose love choose gratitude choose faith okay and you need to release all judgment toward yourself and others and reclaim those dreams that you seem to have lost so that is what aries can expect this week let's move on to taurus so taurus this week you have the goddess Rhea, okay? Now, the goddess Rhea is asking you this week to um, notice how when you're in alignment with the universe, everything in your life just seems to flow. So this week, Taurus, if you're traveling down, um, it's, it's going to feel as if you are in a magic forest or you know you're in a, a dream state this week okay so goddess Rhea is here to remind you this week to if you find yourself in a stagnant state where nothing seems to be moving just remember the flow between you and the universe can very well be blocked so sometimes this can happen when you fear that your desires won't be met. And also when things are moving quickly and seemingly in a different direction from what you expected. Okay? So this week, what you need to do, Taurus, is trust that the flow is an opportunity for you. Okay? Trust that it's an opportunity that you have not discovered yet. Okay? And just... um Remember that this card is here to remind you that although you might experience some unfamiliar and unexpected things, just release the form of how you think everything should work out. Just trust the magic and the miracles that are happening in your life, okay? So this week, Taurus, you need to let go and allow the flow to do the rest for you. So that is the message for Taurus this week. Let's move on to Gemini. All right, Gemini. This week you have Goddess Athena. Beautiful card. So this week for Geminis, you need to real remember, Gemini, that knowledge is power, okay? So this week your focus should be to gain greater clarity, okay? And you know what you have to do, okay? So if things don't add up or make sense, don't jump to conclusions this week, Gemini. Ask for clarity this week. Knowledge is power. Remember that this week, Gemini. Let's move on to Cancer. Cancer, this week you have the goddess Epona. And this goddess is all about wise leadership, Cancers. Okay, so for cancers, all of you cancers out there, whether you are aware of this or not, the way you manage your accomplishments is modeling the way for others, okay? So this week, remember to be true to who you are and place integrity and humility, okay? Replace those things high on your list because it makes you a wise leader, just watch out for being overly assertive this week, okay? And watch out for the tendency to overreach or overreact this week. But you have the goddess Epona. It talks about wise leadership this week, Cancer. Let's move on to Leo. Leo, this week you have goddess Saraswati. Saraswati. Okay, so for you Leos out there, Remember, when you're in alignment with the universe, everything in your life will seem to flow. Now, Goddess Saraswati is all about the fact that mastery is a genuine sense of effortless knowledge after a period of dedicated immersion. Okay, so this is a Hindu goddess. And she asks that you enter her domain of art, language, knowledge, music, and poetry. And make this commitment to go the distance. So this week, Leo, 
you need to go the distance immerse yourself in all aspects of whatever you are dealing with this week okay you need to learn and then learn more okay um so remember deep wisdom knows only continuous learning so that is that should be your focus this week leo mastery this week your focus should be mastering something that is for leo let's move on to virgo okay virgo this week you have the goddess i'm sorry the goddess lazy light lazy lazy okay now the goddess lazy talks about revelation so this week virgo you need to remember that synchronicity brings all elements together okay Whatever was not clear before will become crystal clear in an instant this week for you, Virgo. Okay? Now, so you know without a doubt that you are on the right track. Because you this week you will have deep understanding that will sink into your soul. Okay? Remember that in this moment, change and transformation will take place. Okay, and this is being offered to you as a gift. So now is one of those times to realize and recognize synchronicities in your life. So this week, Virgo, you could very well have a revelation that is life changing. So that is the message for Virgo. Let's move on to Libra. Libra, this week you have the goddess Hera. And this goddess is all about alliance okay so libras this week you need to accept and receive aid from others okay you might have a mentor who comes to you and wants to guide you this week for you libra is all about making connections so remember this week you need to make connections and form alliances libra Let's move on to Scorpio. Scorpio, this week you have Goddess Freya. And Goddess Freya is all about radical acceptance. Radical acceptance, Scorpio. Okay. Um, and when we talk about acceptance, we're talking about acceptance of defeat. Except, well, the fact that acceptance of defeat is not the end. Okay, Goddess Freya offers the gift of acceptance, the knowing that there is nothing to resist right now. Okay, so take full stock of your conditions and know that you can move to higher ground. You can begin again. Okay, don't take something ending as a defeat this week, Scorpio, because you can begin again. Okay, you can wait until the drama dies down on its own. And remember, it is only temporary. So your task this week, Scorpio, is radical acceptance. If something is ending in your life, let it end because there is a new beginning coming up for you. Now, let's move on to Sagittarius. Sagittarius, this week you have Green Tara, the goddess Green Tara. And the goddess Green Tara is all about salvation. Okay, so for you this week, Sagittarius, you need to start delegating. Uh, you need to be in community with others. And remember that you will never be alone in your life's journey. The right people will show up for you at the right time. Okay, so this week, remember that there is a salvation for you. All of your needs will be met. That is the message for Sagittarius this week. Let's move on to Aquarius. Aquarius, this week you have Goddess Aini. Aini, Ain. Okay. And this is the Goddess of Adaptability. Okay. So for a lot of Aquarius out there this week, you know to, you need to remember that you know or you have everything you need right now. So don't hold on too tightly to an image of how things should be, okay? 
Don't be too attached to the form of your desired outcome. You just need to remain open and curious and trust that whatever you're bumping up against, it will dissolve, okay? And it will dissolve through your willingness to simply be with what is and allow the magic to reveal itself, Aquarius. Now, let's move on to Capricorn. Capricorn, you had two cards that fell out for you this week. You have Goddess Demeter and Goddess Ellen. Demeter is the nurturer goddess and Ellen is the goddess of patterns. So, this week, Capricorn, I don't know if you can see both of those cards. Okay, so this week, Demeter is here to remind you that your harvest is is meant to be shared okay you've now tapped into Demeter's nurturing love which is abundant and your well-meaning gestures will be received with gratitude in some way and return to you tenfold so Capricorn now is the time to nourish yourself too you have helped others so remember to nourish yourself as well now, the goddess Ellen is here to, re to remind you that if you do what you have always done, then you can expect the same patterns to continue. So this week, you must choose to think, do, and be differently, Capricorn. All right, so let's move on to Pisces. Pisces, this week, you have the goddess Gula. Beautiful card. So, Pisces, for you, the goddess Gula is here to address the areas of your life that need healing. So, this week, Pisces, you need self-care and you need to focus on healing. You can heal rifts with others, heal your body, focus on your health, self-love, okay? Now, you may also be called to the path of the healer now as well, Pisces. Okay, so that has been the Zodiac messages and astrological report for this week, the week of August 11th through August 17th. Again, this is Citrine. Thank you so much for watching. And if you would like to book a reading with me, I am available on Facebook, facebook.com slash astrolog. I need to write that down. <clears throat> Facebook.com slash Astralo D. And let me spell Astralo D. Astralo D. Facebook.com slash Astralo D. You can book a reading with me at that page. So until next week, I hope everyone enjoys your week.